Hi. <laughs> we have just pulled off the main highway going south and now we're going west in towards um, Shelter Bay but tonight we're going to stay at Hamlin Pool as we will be leaving the caravan at the caravan park for the week and just heading in with the um, D-Max and the tinny on the roof. Our first time camping just with the D-Max and, and the be, swag. And, and the swag. The new swag. The new swag. The new swag would be good. It's such a good swag. It is pretty I've cool. not slept in it yet, but um, I have. Kel has. By default. It was my ISO tent when I came back sick. Quarantine. Down south. Quarantine during the, um, the swag. It's too hot in the caravan, so it's leaving get, the swag. Get in the swag. <laughs> The weather looks terrible for the next week and I think we're just going to get pounded with wind for like the next five, six days. So we've got four boats coming up, mine being the smallest, but um, last hurrah for the old eight horsepower Yami because new things are on the horizon. Oh yeah. Kel's new Christmas present. Kel's Christmas present, yeah, here we go. <laughs> trial the swag on the roof underneath the tinny I'm not too sure it's 50 50 I took all the poles out of the bag and everything like that and stored them in there just in case it rattles around I think the seats should lock it all in that's my theory anyway <laughs> It's why it's squashing in the seat, that's what I thought would happen. Mm. And Too much. Well, possibly, yeah. The other thing is I might be able to take it all off, take the swag out, and just sort of roll it sort of more oval shape. Take two. Can be. <laughs> Oh well, it, uh, it's worked. I moved the swag back to the end and it's just jammed itself on that middle bar down there. So once I strap this down, it'll be sweet. And it gives us a fair bit of room in the back here. We've still got uh, some food and utensils to go in and our camp chairs and table which will be heaps of room in there and I'll put the fuel in dad's boat because uh, you don't want to put unleaded fuel in the back of here Kabufka. Hey. let's not do that no, no. Uh, we have nearly packed up, ready to go out to Shelter Bay. Kel's just packing the food. If we go hungry, we can blame Kelly because she has left the food and hasn't caught any fish. Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's about time you stepped up, mate. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> oh, we're about to leave. Mm -hmm. mass confusion. We thought we were um, running late, but everyone's... Uh, uh, getting their stuff ready and Kenny's gone to find the, um, the tip <laughs> <laughs> so we've lost Kenny now he's gone to find the station tip to have a scab Uh, yeah, we're just all gonna stop and let our tires down. Uh, yeah, it looks like we've got 112 kilometers of gravel, dirt, and then I think the last stretch into camp goes to sand. I'm gonna help let down the tires. Ah, look at that one. That should help. My contribution.
got to this part of the road trip. <laughs> True blue. True blue. Shit. Come on, it, sing it. Everybody. Is it mom or dad? <laughs> is uh, it a cockatoo? <laughs> is it standing by your mates? It's the best bit, this is Ready? the best bit. Or just veggie mites. <laughs> Zigzagging. Uh, it is one o'clock. Um, so yeah, been slow and steady. A few uh, stops here and there, uh, just to check everything's going right. But um, yeah, we just got all day just putting in. A few fellas are already on the beers. But yeah, we should maybe get there in an hour or so. I think the sort of mm. pace we're going. But yeah, the old man's um, boat trailer is a fair bit wider than his car, so um, so yeah, he's just taking it steady, and uh, it's a little bit challenging in the sand when you get to the sandy bits, but um, slow and steady wins the race. Time to get the boat off. Get in the water now. <laughs> stuff to do. Don't worry about setting up the swag. Yeah, no, I got that. <laughs> no, you've got a fish. I'll set up swag. No, oh, okay. There, we go. there she goes. Up. 
Huh? Up. There you go. Probably the last hurrah for the little eight. <laughs> Go out with a bang. Good chair. Last hurrah with us anyway. She'll live on. Thank you. Good to go. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, yeah, pretty much um, set up most of the basic stuff. Uh, that's the new swag. Yet, yeah, it's already set it up, ready to roll. Everyone else is doing their thing, and as expected, it's um, windy as balls. But yeah, it's still not too bad. We'll still get out amongst it. Give it a crack. I'm cold. Leave me alone. <laughs> she has got the name. Where's your? Um, my feet are dirty. Yeah, oh. Socks and thumbs? My feet are dirty. I don't oh, heavy anos probably don't really. Oh, whatever. Uh, just getting me rod sorted. Next step. Um, got all the shit in the boat. It's pretty much uh, ready to roll. Other than hooking the sounder and crap up. And yeah, just going to sort out a couple of rods. And then I'm pretty much good to go. Tomorrow we'll. Battle the wind and see what we can do. It is blowing its head off. Cooking chops in here. Put the cheese on the bottom. Oh no, epic fail. But I did bring chocolate. Nice. <laughs> Tonight we've got um, coleslaw, tomato and chops. Yeah, we're pretty much going to have dinner and go to bed. I think it's um... It's 7.35. 7.35. <laughs> it's way too, too windy and cold. And the boat's all ready to go. Rod's ready to go. So about 4 o'clock in the morning we'll get up and, and get going. No, have really. fun with that. Oh, well, I've launched. <laughs> um, yeah, camp's over back behind me there. And uh, yeah, it is hissing wind. Hissing wind. But um, I'm going to chuck a couple of squid jigs on and uh, just shut my motor off and just uh, it's four and a half metres deep here. Bit of weed or whatever. And I'm guessing I'll drift pretty, um, pretty quick.
Uh, yeah, pretty happy with that. Those two squid are like, um, they're fairly big, so uh, we get two meals out of that for me and Kel. Uh, but I'll probably chop one up and share it around and then um, keep the other one for dinner. I'm calling it. I uh, got those two squid, but um, yeah, it's, it's just way uh, too windy, it's blowing me around everywhere. I'll head in, clean these squid up, and um, and that'll do.